Lake Moultrie, I'm going to learn a little bit about brim fishing from freshwater fisheries biologist Chad Holbrook. So we've got two different types of live bait that we're going to try yes. with brim today. Um, and how are we going to be fishing this live bait? We're going to start out fishing. Both of us have worms and our rig is really simple. We've just got a couple pieces of split shot and a hook and we're just going to be fishing straight up and down because um, we're fishing fairly deep in about 20 feet of water on a man-made brush pile. And when we're fishing for brim, what, what species are we typically looking for? Well, when we say brim in South Carolina, that can mean one of about four different species that we might catch. They're all sunfish, and we have bluegill, red ear, red breast, and warmouth. Um, and where we're at today, bluegill is more than likely going to be the most common species. We're going to be fishing this area and we're going to fish the bottom. Um, how do we want to get that cast out of there? Well, we're making a really short cast, so we can either just flip the line like this or we can try a little sidearm cast. Okay. Um, I just prefer just to kind of flip that line out like that. And we're going to wait till it hits bottom. Yep. Yeah, we're going to wait till it hits the bottom. And when we feel like it's hit the bottom, we'll flip our bail over and turn the reel handle a couple times to pull the bait back up off the bottom just a little bit and get it in the middle of the structure. And then we'll wait for a, a, probably a bluegill to bite. Hopefully so. There's a fish attractor system that we've got set up on a lot of our reservoirs in South Carolina. Um, we've got about 15 of those here in Lake Moultrie. And what it is, it's a good way for us to recycle Christmas trees every year. And what that does is it just gives us some woody debris habitat in an area that's kind of wide open and there's nothing on the bottom. So without that, this would just sort of be a, a kind of a barren bottom spot. And now we've got a spot for, for brim and white perch and catfish and the occasional largemouth bass to hang around. Okay. All right, first fish of the day. First fish of the day. Not exactly what we're looking for, but this is... This is a white perch. And they're also going to be around this structure. They kind of got in here in the 80s and really taken off. That's about as, as big as what we're going to catch them right now. There's a lot of them in here, so they're a little bit stunted. All right, well, we've got another one here, Lorian. Let's see if we've caught a white perch again. And it doesn't look like it. This one is one of our, our brim, and this is a warmouth sunfish. He's I'm got a, a longer body shape. He does have a, a little bit longer body shape, yep. And another common name for this fish here locally would be a mowmouth. He's a little small, so we'll put him back in the water. And I think this is what we've been looking for. Absolutely, that's a nice size bluegill there. Eating size. Bluegill. Yep, eating size. Now, if somebody were to catch some bluegill, how would they normally cook them? Usually, you would just scale a bluegill and take the, um, the insides out and gut it and just fry it up. Bones and everything. Usually bones and everything. Yeah, they're, they're a small fish. It's kind of hard to fillet. You probably would end up wasting some meat um, if you tried to fillet it. So usually just pick around those bones when you eat it. And when you catch a bluegill, you generally look for? We generally will look for, there's a dark spot right back here at the base of that dorsal fin. And we can kind of um, see it. It's a little torn though, his dorsal. Mm -hmm. He's had a rough life. Somebody tried to take a bite out of him over here. Oh, yep. Alrighty. And away he goes. So we didn't have a whole lot of luck at the fish attractor this morning, so we're shifting gears. The fish are probably more in the shallows since the water is a little warm. We have switched from fishing on the bottom to fishing a bobber rig. So let's see if we can catch something on the shallows. Looks like we've caught another fish here, Lorian. And it's another one of our, our brim, it's a red breast sunfish. And you can see their body is kind of long. And they've got these turquoise streaks through the face. And their belly always has this nice orange red tint to it. Small bluegill. Let's see. A dark spot back in his dorsal fin really well on this one. Oh, it's fun to catch it. <laughs> Let him grow up a little bit. 
We had a great day here out on Lake Moultrie. We hit some weed beds, some shallow areas, fish attractor. The only thing that we didn't touch on is fishing around docks for sunfish, which you can find them there very readily on any man-made reservoir. I hope that you guys learned a lot and we will catch you guys next time.